So, uh, Pennsylvania, get out and vote. What's going on at the college level and the colleges, Columbia, NYU, and others is uh, a disgrace. And it's a, it's really on Biden. He has the wrong signal. He's got the wrong tone. He's got the wrong words. He doesn't know who he's backing. And it's a mess. And if this were me, he'd be after me. He'd be after me so much. But they're trying to give him a pass. And what's going on is a disgrace to our country. And it's all Biden's fault, and everybody knows it. He's got no message. He's got no compassion. He doesn't know what he's doing. He can't put two sentences together, frankly. He is the worst president in the history of our country. And again, what's going on is a disgrace. Now, it's interesting outside for great Americans, people that want to come down and they want to protest at the court, and they want to protest peacefully. We have more police presence here than anyone's ever seen. For blocks, you can't get near this courthouse. And yet you have nobody up at a college where you have very radical people wanting to rip the colleges down, the universities down, and that's a shame. But it all starts with Joe Biden. The signals he puts out are so bad. And I can tell you, he's no friend of Israel, that's for sure. And he's no friend of the Arab world either. You take a look at what he said. He's no friend of, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do. He wants to take like a middle ground, and oftentimes that doesn't work, but it's certainly not working here. But what he's done to Israel is abandon them. And he's trying to be as nice as he can to the other side. Call it the Arab world, but that's not working either because they get him. And he's an incompetent man. A peace will never happen with a guy like this. Thank you very much.